Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word 2010 allows you to assign a macro to a button that appears in the ribbon, the quick access toolbar, or an unused keyboard shortcut of your choosing. This can make running macros much easier than the process involved with running them through the macros dialog box. Once you have assigned a macro to a button or a keyboard shortcut, you can simply click the button or press the keyboard shortcut in order to run the associated macro. You assign macros to buttons or keyboard shortcuts in the Word Options dialog box. You can access this dialog box by clicking the File tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Options button in the lower left corner of the Command Panel. This will open the Word Options dialog box. Next, you must decide if you want to assign the macro to a button on a tab within the ribbon, to a button in the Quick Access Toolbar, or to a keyboard shortcut. If you want to assign the macro to a button on a tab within the ribbon, then first choose the Customize Ribbon category at the left side of the Word Options dialog box. Next, use the Choose Commands From dropdown to select the Macros category. You should see the macros that you have created appear within this column. You can then select the Main Tabs command from the Customize the Ribbon dropdown. You will then see the tabs and groups appear in the column as a collapsed outline. You can click the plus signs to expand a tab and see the groups within it. Now when you add a macro button to a tab, they must appear within their own custom groups that you create on the tab. So to do this, start by selecting the name of the tab within which you want to create your custom macro button group. You can even click the new tab button to create a new tab. If you create a new tab, it will automatically contain a new group. If you selected an existing tab, then click the New Group button that appears at the bottom of the column to add a new group to the selected tab. Now once you've created a custom tab or a custom group, make sure that it's selected within the column. Also note you can click the Rename button to rename it whatever you would like. Once you have your custom group selected, click the name of the macro that you would like to add to the custom group by selecting it from the Choose Commands From column. Then click the Add button that appears between the columns to add the selected macro to the selected custom group within the ribbon. Also note that you could choose the macro at this point and click the Rename button in order to rename the macro. and even assign it a button icon. Now also notice the reset button at the bottom of this column next to the customizations label. You can click this button to select either reset only selected ribbon tab or reset all customizations from the drop down menu that appears. This will reset the currently selected ribbon tab or reset all customizations based on which command you choose from the drop-down menu. You can use this to reset unwanted customizations to the ribbon if they occur. Now if you wanted to assign a macro to the Quick Access Toolbar instead of to the ribbon, start by selecting the Quick Access Toolbar category from the left side of the Word Options dialog box. Then select the Macros category from the Choose Commands From drop-down. The name of your macro should appear in the list below the drop-down menu. Select the name of the macro that you want to add to the Quick Access Toolbar from this list, and then click the Add button in the middle of the Options window to move the command from the left list to the right list. 
the list at the right side of the window is a, simply a listing of all the buttons that will be available in the Quick Access Toolbar. Note that you can click on the name of the macro shown in the list at the right side, and then click the small up and down pointing arrows in order to move the command up or down through the listing of button commands. Also, if you wanted to give the button a different picture or modify its name, you can select the name of the macro in the list at the right, and then click the Modify button at the bottom of the list. In the Modify button dialog box that appears, you can then click on a button picture that you want to use for the macro from the symbol list, and then enter a name for the button into the Display Name text box, and then click the OK button. If you want to assign a macro to a keyboard shortcut instead of a button, then start by clicking the Customize Ribbon category at the left side of the Word Options dialog box. Then click the Customize button in the lower left corner of the Options side of the dialog box, and that will open the Customize Keyboard dialog box. You would select Macros from the Categories list at the left side of the dialog box. Then select the macro that you would like to assign to a keyboard shortcut from the Macros list. Next, click into the Press New Shortcut Key text box and press a new keyboard shortcut combination, such as Alt-Shift-B for example. If the selected keyboard shortcut is assigned, it will display the function to which the keyboard shortcut has been assigned below the current keys list. If it is unassigned, it will display that fact in the same location. Make sure that the keyboard shortcut that you use is unassigned. If you assign a macro to a standard or already assigned keyboard shortcut, you will overwrite the standard shortcut. Once you can see that your keyboard shortcut is unassigned, you can then click the Assign button and then click the Close button. Now once you've finished assigning your macros using the Word Options dialog box, click the OK button in the lower right corner of the dialog box to finish your customizations and close the dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.